All right, guys, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, so it is uh, the first video, uh, first vlog of uh, this year prep, so 2022. Um, I'm currently prepping for Vancouver Pro in July. So uh, we're right now 20 weeks out. Uh, I started prep a week ago. Uh, we decided to start earlier. Uh, I personally love longer prep. So it's been uh, a week and a half now. It's been good. Um, I'm gonna give you guys uh, just a run up of like how we've been uh, like entering prep right now and what's the approach that we're gonna do uh, this time around. We're doing something a bit different. Uh, but first, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports me, uh, everyone who's been uh, following me on Instagram. It's just been crazy and the support is amazing. So it really doesn't go unnoticed. Um, so for this year, uh, I'm currently, I think, I'm a bit low. I didn't weight myself this morning, but when I started prep, I was 27 pounds over stage weight, which is a bit more than what I was supposed to stay at. Uh, but last year of season, I was over like 30 pounds, 33 pounds uh, over stage weight. So um, slowly improving <laughs> there, but obviously um, muscle is, uh, obviously I gained muscle. I'm like in a better position to start prep. Um, however, we decided that we wanted to start prep uh, like really, really hard for like six to eight weeks, get me in the best shape I can in uh, that short period of time. And then kind of go from there and trying to like uh, starting like eat a bit more. So right now we started my prep at an hour fasted uh, with super low calories. So I'm around like 1600 calories and I have 15, 15 minutes post workout cardio plus uh, 35 minutes if it's a rest day. So cardio is really high, calories are really low, we're pushing hard, uh, which is gonna be interesting to see like how my body's gonna change in the next six to eight weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see how it goes, uh, kind of like taking a different approach, but uh, that keeps me really motivated because when you start prep, it's like super slow, like motion. I feel you just get like, oh fuck, what am I fucking gonna get in shape? So uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, obviously I feel better, I feel in better place. So uh, yeah, everything's going great. Uh, we're gonna do shoulders. Uh, I asked on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see as of a workout. I'm gonna train alone today, but I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing in the past couple uh, weeks in my workout. I've been keeping like the same exercise uh, and I've been having really good results and I'm always like sore, uh, really good workout. So I'm gonna show you guys what kind of like, I've been doing. Um, and I want to try also like a couple uh, new exercises I saw uh, on YouTube, uh, on John Meadows actually, like uh, YouTube videos. So uh, they look pretty good for like uh, a good calf shoulders. Obviously everyone wants good calf shoulders. So I'm going to try that out today as well. So uh, I'm going to bring you into my workout, but I'm really excited to start uh, this prep um, vlog and bring you along my whole prep. So yeah, let's do this. with reverse back deck that's something I always start with or on the cable so I'm gonna do both I always start with rear delts never gonna change um, so yeah I just make sure to really, really contract well and squeeze and control the movement instead of just like uh, bouncing so like uh, I love to go high reps here so I'm gonna do three to four sets of 20 reps So uh, after we're done, I'll usually start with uh, laterals. Uh, that, is, uh, that has been my staple for the past month and a half. So what I'm doing, I'm doing a superset, so I'll go heavy on the like standing lateral raise. Um, same thing here, I don't want to swing, I really want to 
control every rep and make sure I squeeze hard at the top. Um, and then I'll go super set with lighter weight, but super the chest and go get them like really, really high and turn. Uh, you want to drive with your elbow always and drive your pinky up and go get really. So you want to be in the Y uh, position that you go get your calf of your delt. If you're here, you're gonna go like recruit a lot of like other muscle, rear delt, uh, a bit of back traps. So you kind of want to be in uh, that angle to go get really just uh, the side of your delt here. Yeah, so I'm going to do side laterals on the cable. Um, that's the exercise I saw on John Meadows' video. So I'm pretty excited to try it. Uh, I just can like try the movement uh, by itself. And you can like really feel that really going to go get that uh, cap of your delt. So I sure don't know what I'm going to start with. Uh, I'm going to start with 10 just to try and see how it goes. That's a good finishing. I don't even know if I can go higher than that, but obviously my shoulders are already like, uh, yeah, from, like they're pre exhausted from the super I just did, but no, that's actually a really good one. That's all you guys gonna see today. That's, yeah, that's the only physique update I'm gonna give you guys. Sorry, it's so weird because I like, can do five really easily and then to, to a point it's just like hit a wall and it's like so hard to get up. So usually after uh, laterals, I'll go into a press. Uh, so my sh shoulders are really warm. Um, so that's actually going to be probably really heavy. Uh, so anyone who thinks I'm strong, <laughs> this is the real truth. Uh, but yeah, I'm usually going into press. Um, any kind of press, uh, I'll switch it up. So like sometimes I'll do dumbbell press. Um, machine uh, we have a lot of good machine here uh, this one's a viking press i love this one uh, not many gyms have it uh, we're really lucky to have that so it's from atlantis
so I wanted to do them at uh, the beginning, but sometimes I'll finish with them uh, just because the cable was used. So um, we're there. I'm going to do a high cable. Uh, I love this exercise. Um, I'm usually going to be doing higher reps on this one as well, but I love it just because um, because of the cable, you really keep the tension on uh, your rear delt. And when it's like getting too heavy to do full reps, I just can go and keep doing like um, just half rep. And again, just like keep the tension on my rear delt all the time. So um, yeah, I love this one. All right, guys, so that is it for my shoulder workout. Uh, I usually finish with either uh, tricep or bicep, so two exercises each. Um, and then I'll, I've been doing abs actually almost every single day. Um, other than leg day, I'll do them post-workout or after my cardio. So I'm trying to get 100 reps of abs every workout. Um, really important, a lot of people doesn't um, like do a lot of like core exercise. So I'm just trying to re-stay on top of it with that. So just finishing with 15 minutes of uh, incline walk plus workout. So I usually gonna do elliptical in the morning and just walking after my workout and then I'm gonna go home. Uh, but yeah, um, also one thing I didn't say, um, I actually sold my Canon, bought a new camera, Sony, so I'm waiting for that. So once I receive it, I'm gonna have my brand new camera to be able to do a lot of content so uh full of eating and everything can like up to update you guys on uh, my current diet as of right now uh beginning of prep so uh, a lot of things uh exciting coming um but yeah thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video